Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the chemistry of drinks set by Mel Chemistry, we will see how calcium chloride makes milk curdle. Perform this experiment on the plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the curd experiment, you will need calcium chloride solution, three candles, a measuring spoon, a wooden stick, the flask, the funnel, the beaker, some milk, the stove, the flame diffuser, and a lighter or matches. Pour approximately 25 milliliters of milk into the beaker and add two big spoonfuls of calcium chloride solution. Then put the three candles into the stove. Take off your protective gloves and light the candles. Cover the stove with the flame diffuser and place the beaker on top of it. Put your protective gloves back on and stir the mixture for 10 minutes using the wooden stick. Milk consists of water, tiny drops of fat, and small protein particles known as micelles. The surfaces of the drops of fat and protein micelles have a slight negative charge which attracts positively charged calcium ions in the calcium chloride. As a result, the drops of fat and protein micelles stick to each other, forming a white precipitate called curd. Heating speeds up this process. Blow out the candles, fold a filter paper as shown here, put it into the funnel, and pour the curdled milk into it. The colorless liquid in the flask is whey, while the white mass left in the filter is curd. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.